One of the ways that we can progress our elbow loading and elbow mobility is by doing loaded elbow cars. This is a really simple way to just progress what you're already doing. Um, and all you need is a dumbbell. You could also use an ankle weight or something along those lines. I chose a five pound dumbbell. The weight that you choose, the heavier it is, the less range of motion you're gonna get. So ultimately, it just depends on your goal. If your goal is to still get as much movement and range of motion as possible, choose something lighter and really aim for ranges of motion. If you're trying to go heavy, that's also fine. Just remember, your range of motion will be cut off, which is why we still want to do our unloaded body weight elbow cars on a regular basis. So the idea behind this is a regular elbow car. So you are going to take your dumbbell. We are going to start in full elbow extension. We are going to bring the dumbbell up into full elbow flexion. We're gonna rotate as far as we can, maintaining elbow flexion. And then we are going to bring it down into elbow extension. And then we are going to reverse the movement, open up, still staying in flexion and then come down. That would be one elbow car. Now, a lot of people will cheat the range of motion a little bit and will come up here and then rotate. And as they're rotating, they'll drop the range of motion. First, we wanna make sure we're getting full range of motion, squeezing the bicep and forearm together. And then from there, making sure we're not using our wrist to compensate and then keeping this distance as we rotate versus losing it as we rotate. See how I'm already coming down here? I'm losing a whole bit of range of motion here. So we should be coming up. We should be rotating as we're up and then coming down, locking the elbow out, coming back up, opening, and coming back down. So you should kind of see a little bit of an oval in the range of motion your wrist is making as you're doing that. You should obviously feel no pain or discomfort as you're doing the range of motion, but really fighting for that full range will help you get a lot of strength and resilience and good mobility in your elbow. And also it might give you a little bit of a nice bicep pump. So this is almost like another way to do a bicep curl that has your elbow in mind. Over time, you can progress those with going slower, more time under tension, or of course, just adding weight. So that is going to be your loaded elbow car.